Hello, my name is Aaron, and I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco's SD-WAN product team, and this is Cisco SD-WAN Megabits with Umbrella SIG. By harnessing the power of vManage templating and onboarding, teleworkers can quickly get the connectivity they need in the comfort of their own home. But what conversation around remote work would be complete without discussing security? SD-WAN inherently is a distributed architecture that allows for direct access to the internet from the branch, or teleworkers' home. But how do we secure this traffic? Historically, this meant deploying physical security appliances to the branch, either onboard or a dedicated appliance, or backhauling this traffic to a regional internet access point. Now, for a myriad of reasons, these deployment options simply don't work for some customers. Some customers lack the hardware capable of offering a full-stack security complement, and for those that do have the necessary hardware, perhaps the resource burden is too great, and it may adversely affect branch performance. And yet others simply have trouble justifying the need for a full-stack security at the branch, when the users requiring it are very minimal. So how do we balance security, cost, scalability, and user experience? Umbrella is Cisco's cloud-based secure internet gateway platform that provides customers with multiple levels of defense against internet-based threats. Umbrella integrates DNS layer security, cloud access security broker, firewall, and secure web gateway to deliver highly scalable, pervasive security to end users, regardless of where they are in the world and without burdening branch resources. It works within the context of SD-WAN by building automated, redundant IPsec tunnels from each of the SD-WAN branches, or teleworker home offices, to the nearest Umbrella point of presence. Internet-bound traffic is then securely transmitted to Umbrella for inspection prior to being allowed, or denied, access to the Internet. By selecting the nearest Umbrella POP, not only are we reducing latency for the end-user application, but we're also ensuring that regionalized services, such as cloud-based SaaS applications, remain optimized as well. With version 20.1 of SD-WAN, it's quite simple to configure Cisco Umbrella SIG integration. Umbrella SIG requires two templates, a credentials template and a tunnel template. Here, we can see the credentials template. The customer organization ID, registration key, and seeker key are all gleaned from the customer smart account, so no manual copy and paste is needed here. Next, we can review the tunnel template. This template defines how the branch devices will communicate with the Umbrella service. And lastly, we can attach the templates to our devices. Though our example demonstrates only one device, vManage templates can be leveraged to deploy Umbrella services throughout the organization in mass with little additional effort. Heading over to the Umbrella dashboard, we can see that our new tunnel has been successfully provisioned. Our organization is now ready to utilize Umbrella SIG for cloud-based security services. And as always, thanks for joining. Please like and subscribe for the latest updates on Cisco SD-WAN and cloud networking. Click here for more of Cisco SD-WAN Megabits.